Hello, this is Duncan. Welcome to um, Bath Books, Back Away from the Donkey. This is just a sort of book related, but non book related, if you get what I mean. It's more to do with Goodreads. We all know Goodreads is a horrible, horrible piece of software that needs serious updating. But I was trying to, for a video, create a list of books, but I didn't want it on my read or unread shelves, which you have to do when you create a list because they assume that. But if you're like me and old and crumbly, you have books that you read maybe decades ago, which obviously aren't on the Goodreads system, but you don't want to put them in there, but you don't necessarily want to put them as unread, and you don't necessarily want to put them as read. Do you understand what I mean? But yeah, I wanted to create this list called 56 at 50, and it's for a booktube video that's going to be coming out this weekend. And I was trying to work a final way of doing this without adding it to those shelves, because those shelves are exclusive. And when you create a list, you have to add, when you add a book, you have to add it to one of those. So I discovered a way around it, and that is to create another exclusive list, just so you've got somewhere to add it. So I'll just show you how I quick did it, if anybody's interested. I just thought I'd do this quick. I was going to do this as a short, but it took longer than a short, so I'll do this as the main one. So, yeah, here I am on my Goodreads, my sort of homepage. And you go across to your books, as you would. And there you've got all your lists and all your bookshelves. So click edit on the bookshelves and add a shelf. And I've called this um, historically read, is what I'm calling this, because I've read it historically, because I'm old. So there we do, a quick bit of typing. Well, it's not very quick. And then we add that to the shelves. Okay, and there it is. And you've got the list there. And if you look there, you've got little tick boxes. So there's a historically read one. So I'll go across here. I untick the thing because I don't want recommendations on it. And there's the exclusive tab. And I, don't know where it is, and I click that on the exclusive tab. A little message comes up telling you it's what the exclusive tab does. And I'm done. And so I've got an extra exclusive tab. So now, what I need to do is here we are there as so I pick my 56 at 56 bookshelf I want to do add a book to it uh, I'm gonna pick Brian Aldous's fantastic Helicona spring and do, do, do. Uh, edition there so yep pick that and then I should hopefully be able to pick the right edition which is down there more editions actually that's the one I've got my own and then there we are and then I'm going to want to read click the thing there and then you've got bookshelf and you've got the historically read and then I can pick my 56 or 56 tag as well there. If I go home, actually I should have gone to my books really. So let's go back to my books and then click my list 56 or 56 and then if you look under the shelves you'll see it's been shelved under historically read and 56 56 and that's in the two. So that's how you create a list. You have to do an exclusive shelf specifically for that without using the red and the unread shelves. I hope you may have found that useful. And I will speak to you all very, very soon. And yeah, I might do the odd other little video like this. But anyway, I will speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.